Ah, Counselor Christian Wontan. She sits on the Board of Health. <laughs> she knows you're all being murdered. Using your tax dollars. Eh? You know, I was once a, a homeless queer youth myself. Um, I have personally lived through the shelter system. I know what it means to not have a safe space. Um, and I can only imagine for the young folks who are going to walk through this door and call this place home. No yeah, it's a human right to have a home. Anyway, it's a human right to breathe, too. <laughs> they taught millions of people how to kill you all and suffer any of the hundreds of causes of breathing emergency. <laughs> anyway, unbelievable. Christian, she's a politician, you know. Whoa, we're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Why'd you start doing it in the first place? Hey, Christian, down there, 2011. All started in Toronto, 2011. And a child knows what they're doing is wrong. Hey. Eh? Uh, there's a baboon. Animals know about rescue breathing. It's in the Old and New Testament. It's been around forever. I knew it at five years old. If you've got a breathing emergency, that's what it is. Don't be pounding on their hearts like they taught millions of people to do. And they're killing their own children because the government told them to. Read the comment box. The medical information will be there. Think. Very well prepared. Uh, they all have naloxone. Uh, the most important thing when they get on site is actually ventilation as well as naloxone. But I think what we heard loud and clear today uh, was that the issue is... It should be on ventilation, as Dr. Yaffe just said. But let me just say this. ...disaster or crisis that comes to affect a big community. What's the one thing that often stands in the way of effective dealing with it? It's different protocols people have, different ways they collect information, different information they have, and the whole idea of this partnership, and I commend those who pulled it together before uh, I got involved, is to get everybody around the table so you can start to produce numbers, that they're collected in a common fashion, that they have protocols that are well agreed upon so that when things get worse, if they do, hopefully not, but when they do, that we actually can deal with this as opposed to sort of saying, oh my goodness, this person didn't tell me that, or we have a different system here. This is what causes people to lose their lives, quite literally. Cognitive dissonance. You lie to yourselves and others in order to protect a core belief that the medical profession and government is not a bunch of mass murderers. Read the comment box thing.